Alex Herfield from Fengley Yorkshire and this is Jack Roberts uh, from the Hip and Spanx magazine. Jack's never done any fun before so he's going to do a little video and a little bit of training just to show you how easy the Fengley uh, Yorkshire tech time fittings are. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to get some copper pipe and we're going to cut the copper pipe. With a pipe slice. Once we've done that, we deburr internally. That's quite a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah. And then externally, and what we check is that there is no rough edges that could possibly cut your o ring when we push that Right. Then we're going to do the depth gauge, push it in on the depth gauge, and it's the side with the black pip on, the top of the pipe. We depth mark it, then pull it out, and then put the little V on and then basically get the fitting and just push it in and that's the joint done. You've got the depth mark there so you know that you've actually inserted it far enough into the pipe. If the pipe disappears into the fitting the little legs are still poking out so you can actually get hold of it and pull it like that. When we demount it you can use a demount clip like that, push it onto there, squeeze it towards yourself, pull and twist and out it comes. Or there's another D-mount tool, which is this one, which large horseshoe, small horseshoe, onto there, and then pull and twist, and that comes out. Okay. Okay. So there you go, Jack. I would know about gloves, but Jack's pinched my gloves. which is great for students to learn to bend on. It's in the standard bending machine. <laughs> bending machine. So what we do there is you can put your put the bending spring in there and we can do a, a nice tight bend very very easily. Or you can put it in your in your bender and do that. But if you decide that you want to go further and round like that. You can actually still pull that out, straighten it out, put that over, and that will now be straight in the pipe. Okay, so once you straighten the pipe, you don't necessarily have to straighten it if you use it on the floor, cut the pipe. And then deburr using a calibration tool. So you push it, you insert that and twist. You need about five or six revolutions. There's that tool, or we have this one here, which has got 15 and 22 in. So if your 15 goes in there and just twist, or if for some reason. Oswestry, which is Jack's football team, if they win the European Championships, the European Cup, and he's a little bit worse for wear, we end up with a, a pipe like that. But what Jack can do then is, we can put it into a drill, put it onto speed one, and then just... And that has then deburred internally, externally, and cut it back at 90 degrees. Get your depth marking tool, insert, instead of having it on the black pit which is the copper side, we twist to the multi-layer side, 
then do there we go and then put the V on and then we have a tectite seal which you insert into the pipe and then push into the fitting and that once again the little legs are poking out so you know that it's fully inserted and both of those pipes are solid so let's come have a go with this piece of pipe there we go do you want to try the bender first, or are you just going to yeah. straighten it? Let's, uh, let's go with the bender. Make a nice little 90 bend on, for instance. That's it. Cool. Right. coming off inside. Yep. Five or six times round that should be enough. Pull it off now. Let's exactly. internally and externally. Okay, so we're going to depth mark. Depth mark, and now try and pull it apart, John. Yep, that's Gap not budging. And now he's going to use a, a removal tool. Okay. That's it. And just show that you can reinsert it. No problem. Yeah, and try pull it out. And there we go. Brilliant. Jack is now on a new career. <laughs> in plumbing rather than marketing. <laughs> <laughs>